Alright, what's up guys? How you doing? It's Deji. So, Apple, they just showcased what they're gonna be releasing. And you know what? I'm an avid Apple user. I use their phone. So it only makes sense that I show some intrigue in the showcase, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, you have Apple, right? You have iPhones, you have all of that. So you know what? I'm very intrigued. I wanna see what all of this is gonna do. Apparently they're gonna be showing iOS 18, iPad, iOS, Mac, iOS, Samsung, blah, 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 blah. So you know what? Let's just see what's good. And I'm excited that we'll introduce profound new intelligence capabilities that we hope will inspire developers, delight users, and make our platforms even smarter and more useful than ever. Why is man on a roof? Why does he have to be on a roof to kind of like say this? Like, I, I get it, they're showing solar panels and that, and it looks cool if this is actually their office, this is nuts, but why are you on a roof? Now you have to get down, unless that's CGI. If that's CGI, then you know what? Apple, they've done it, they've done it. Apple Vision Pro and Vision OS unlock completely new possibilities for Ooh. entertainment, productivity, collaboration yeah. and so much more facts so much that i didn't buy one i really should get one though low key how much are they F three thousand not 4k man said 4k are you mad and it's like a rated high all right let's see what they're saying about it. apps like nba where you can watch multiple live games with stats what if where you become a superhero in the marvel universe and unextinct, where you can explore endangered species. Okay. Games that take advantage of your space, mm. immerse you completely, challenge you in new ways, or let you gather around a table to play with friends, Shut even up. when you're not together. Shut up! You could play. All right, okay, no, all right, you're cooking. So far, I might cook. Wait. There's already over 2,000 apps created specifically for Apple Vision Pro. Okay. All of these amazing apps and experiences are made possible by Vision OS. Oh, it's cool. been just four months since we launched Vision Pro and Vision OS. Okay. And today, we're already announcing our first major update. Go on. Introducing Vision OS 2. No, bro, what? No way they're releasing number two. What, from one to two? Shut up, bruv. Vision OS 2 propels spatial computing forward with new ways to connect with your most important memories, mm -hmm. great enhancements to productivity, and powerful new developer APIs for immersive shared experiences. To tell you more, here's Haley. All right, go on, Haley. Vision OS 2 is a great release with some big updates. Go on. Let's start with photos. Oh? Spatial computing has reinvented how you view your photos. There's nothing like seeing them life-size with incredible fidelity. Okay. Spatial photos are even more powerful, bringing life and realism to your favorite moments with family and friends. Okay, that's pretty it's cool. It's incredibly moving to step back into a treasured that, memory. Definitely. And the rich visual depth of spatial photos makes this possible. Okay. Now, Vision OS 2 lets you do something truly amazing with the photos already in your library. All right. With just the tap of a button, advanced machine learning derives both a left and right eye view from your beautiful 2D image, creating a spatial photo with natural depth that looks stunning on Vision Pro. It's so magical to reach into the past and bring your most cherished photos into the future. Wait, why is she just looking at some white kid? Like some white family? That ain't your family, bro. We saw your family. Was it a white family or am I just tripping? It wasn't even a white family. What's wrong with me? <laughs> People love Mac virtual display because it lets them bring their Mac wirelessly into Vision Pro what? just by looking at it, giving them a large, private, and portable 4K display. Later this year, it gets even better with higher display resolution and size. And it can be expanded even what? further into an ultra-wide display that wraps around you. Shut up, bro. Two 4K monitors side by side. Apple immersive videos are 180 degree 8K recordings with spatial audio that give you mind-blowing experiences with lifelike fidelity. Oh my gosh. It truly feels like you were there. So I could be with my ancestors and not actually be there. That is sick. No, I mean, in fact, Af Africa. You know what I'm trying to say, okay? All right. Oh! iOS 18 is a big release. What? <laughs> Wait, what was the point of that? <laughs> why, why, like, why was he so pissed off too when he did it? Bro, 
off. He's so pissed off. When I swipe from the top right corner, yeah. I can see Control Center with yeah, all got... my controls organized in one place. We got that, we got and that. And now, Control Center isn't limited to just the controls you see here. No way. I can swipe to multiple new groups of controls, like for media playback. No, you can't. You can see how beautiful this looks. And here are my home controls. What? It's so useful to have everything arranged for me like this. These new controls are also available from the lock screen. So you can swap the camera and flashlight for different controls. Like taking a note when an idea strikes or quickly capturing the moment for your Snapchat. That, okay. And you can even use... That is a W. No troll, that is a dub. That is very cool. You know how annoying it is to swipe, show your face, or put your code in Snapchat. Ah! Oh! You could have missed the moment. But now, bang, ah! Oh! Sometimes we hand our device to someone so they can look at a photo or play a game but we want peace of mind that they can't get into sensitive areas of our phone. Okay. So this year, we're giving you a new way to protect sensitive apps and the information inside them by letting you lock an app. Oh! When you choose to lock. W's in the chat! W's in the chat! Oh my gosh! That is a dub! That is a dub! That is a W! If they just started with that, I would have I, I been invested. I could lock an app! You know how annoying it is? I want to get to it on my phone, but then I'm always like, oh, they want me to just like go on pictures or go on text or whatever. But now, I can lock the app. I'd be like, hey, you can go on my phone. Oh, what? You can't see it. Pussy. All right, iOS 18, you got my money. You got my money. I mean, it's free. But I, it, well, yeah, because it's, it's just a software update. But still, I'm, I might get a Vision Pro now. I might get one. We're bringing one of your most requested features to messages. Go on. When you don't want to forget to send that friendly reminder or birthday text in the morning, you can schedule your message to send later. I, I, I don't see many people using that. Imagine scheduling a text to break up with like your girl. Oh, you know what? I plan to break up with her this day. And then, but then more of you then like her, but then the text just comes out like I'm breaking. That's nuts. There's a new way to stay connected whenever you don't have Wi Fi or cellular service. What? We're using the same groundbreaking technology that gave us emergency SOS via satellite to bring you messages via satellite. Now, you can use the satellite capabilities on iPhone 14 and later to connect to satellites hundreds of miles above the Earth to text your friends and family when you're off the grid, all right from the Messages app. Once you're connected, you'll be able to use key iMessage features like sending and receiving messages, emoji, and tap backs. That's elite. Do you know how many times when you, like, you're off the grid and you want to text someone, but you just can't text them? Now, now you can, with satellite. Look, if you're not an Apple user now, you might as well be. What if you're trapped, right? And you need someone, you need help. And there's no, you got no service, nothing. And you're on your little Android thing. Yeah, you're finished, bro. But then you have an Apple satellite. And like, oh, someone's chasing you. Oh, I got Apple satellite. Mom, help, you're good. Oh my gosh. Bro, yeah, Apple sponsor me, bro. Yeah, I, you might as well. When you make a request, Apple intelligence analyzes whether it can be processed on device. If it needs greater computational capacity, it can draw on private cloud compute and send only the data that's relevant to your task to be processed on Apple Silicon servers. You're telling me they don't have access to this data? Stop it, bro. Yes, you do. This is cap because even with the iPhone, nothing you delete actually gets deleted. If you delete something on your iPhone, it's still on your iPhone. Have you ever heard of an app called Dr. Phone? D-R-F-O-N-E. All you need to do, right? Plug that to your phone. Do the whole iTunes, whatever, get all of it. You got, you, you have everything you've ever deleted all on your phone right there. Nothing you delete on your phone is actually deleted. This is cat. I don't believe this for a second. They, like, I, at first they had me, but I was like, eh, yes. Yeah, Sup. <sighs> Even if you don't know exactly what a feature is called, you can just describe it. And Siri will find the info you're looking for. Like this. How can I write a message now and have it be delivered tomorrow? Siri understood what feature I was referring to, and now I have step-by-step -step guidance on how to use the new Send Later feature right. in Messages. That's cool. Everything I've showed you so far will be available from the moment you start using Apple Intelligence. And over the course of the next year, we'll be rolling out more features that make Siri even more personal and capable. For one, Apple Intelligence will provide Siri with on-screen awareness, 
so it'll be able to understand and take action with things on your screen. No, see, that now, see, that, no, no, see, that's scary. If I'm doing miscellaneous things on my phone, I want Siri pre in. <laughs> Siri will have the ability to take hundreds of new actions in and across apps, including some that leverage our new writing and image generation capabilities. For example, you'll be able to say, show me my photos of Stacy in New York wearing her pink coat, and Siri will bring those right up. Then you might say, make this photo pop, and Siri will enhance it. I'll actually say, hey, show me a nigga on my phone. <laughs> Oh, bruh, I want to try that. So you might ask Siri to take a Light Trails video in Pro Camera by moment. Wow! Or ask Siri to share a summary of your meeting notes in an email you're drafting to a teammate in Superhuman. Shut and up! Right. Okay, all right, you lot win. All right, you've won. Damn. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and sweet.